Hey viewers, it's time to get back to the old staple food, weapon mods. This time we'll be looking at double barrel shotguns because the vanilla double barrel eh, isn't that bad actually. It won't make your eyes bleed and it's a relatively useful early game weapon. However, I still want more double barrel shotguns so let's look at a few mods. I'm only going to cover the six I've listed on screen because I'm pressed for time right now. I want to be able to look at wars more thoroughly. Anyways, of these six, which are recommendable? Honestly, I can sort of recommend four out of the six, but I'd have to put an asterisk next to all four since they each have potential problems depending on your load order and tastes. The double barrel rifle and shotgun is a great little two for one weapon pack with excellent custom animations and a lot of attachments, but these guns have a little problem in power armor and bashing is messed up. Additionally, not everyone will want an extra ammo type added to their game that only one weapon uses. The VG double barrel looks good, but it has balancing issues. Some attachments make it too powerful. If you use the Battlefield 1 double barrel animations, it can be an awesomely fun weapon to use though. It's probably the best mod on this list in general. The Caravan shotgun can make a great early game weapon, but a lot of users have reported problems with it. I didn't experience any issues, but if you're using tactical reload or see-through scopes, this mod probably isn't worth bothering with due to compatibility issues. The Pipe Shotgun Collection is surprisingly excellent despite being made only five months after Fallout 4 came out. It's a well-made, niff-bashed weapon that uses parts from other pipe weapons and fits in perfectly with that family of weapons. If you care more about how well a weapon is implemented than how it looks, you might really love this one. The other two mods I looked at are trash, don't waste any time on them. Anyways, let's move on to the detailed breakdown. First up we've got the mod Double Barrel Rifle and Shotgun. It adds two weapons, the Double Barrel Rifle and a side-by-side -side shotgun. You can find a single Double Barrel Rifle inside this very well hidden bunker in the wilderness. It's also injected into leveled lists. It can be found on vendors or bosses starting from level 20. It's 500 Nitro Express ammo can be found at vendors or in pre-war safes, again starting from level 20. The side-by-side -side shotgun doesn't have any pre-placed spawns, but it's injected into similar leveled lists as the double barrel rifle and can be found much earlier at level 5. Both weapons share the same good looking model and they share custom animations as well. The major difference with the side-by-side -side shotgun is a lot less recoil and a far less beefy sound than its bigger brother. In third person, both weapons use vanilla double barrel animations and the same is true for power armor third person. In first person power armor, the custom animations also revert back to vanilla animations which don't look too bad aside from the left hand not really gripping the shotgun. Both weapons have bashing issues. Usually the bash kill move will cancel but your targeted enemy will act out their death regardless. Occasionally kill moves will work but with misaligned animations and very rarely will they actually play properly. As always, I'd recommend the mod No Grabs and Kill Moves to remove these stupid kill moves entirely. When it comes to modifications, the double barrel rifle has 7 receivers, 3 barrels, 2 stocks, glow sights, a red dot sight, 3 scopes of varying magnifications, some wood colors, damage modifiers, high explosive and radioactive rounds, and an option to fire both barrels at once. The side-by-side -side shotgun has a lot fewer attachments. It has the same seven receivers, only one barrel, one stock. It can take the red dot sight but not scopes. It has the same damage modifiers and wood colors as the DBR, the option to fire both barrels at once, and four ammo types including dragon's breath and slug rounds. Not a bad selection but there could have been more. I kind of wish you could saw off the barrels on these weapons but I understand their purpose is to be a mid-range alternative to the vanilla double barrel so a sawed off barrel would defeat the purpose. Compared to the vanilla double barrel these two weapons have more damage and range but a longer reload time, higher recoil and greater weight. With only a two shot capacity these weapons might be good for doing a lot of damage to start a fight before switching to something more practical to finish it. Against crowds of fast enemies these guns will fare poorly even if you're accurate enough to land every shot. To sum it up, these are good looking, well balanced weapons weighed down by a couple of minor issues that may or may not bother you. Because this mod is so popular it has support for tactical reload, caliber complex and horizon so it will fit into a wide variety of load orders. It's definitely worth a download. Not worth downloading is our next mod, the Widow Shotgun. This mod adds one unique weapon, the titular Widow Shotgun to a very well hidden cellar in Concord. 
It looks like she didn't spend much time being a widow. Unfortunately, when adding the cellar, this mod inadvertently broke precombines in the area, which absolutely destroys performance on weaker PCs. There is a fix mod that repairs the precombines, but it also makes ridiculous balancing changes to the weapon, including increasing its ammo capacity to 8. The fix mod is also unavailable on Xbox, where it would be most useful. For this reason alone, I cannot recommend this mod to anyone. It's kind of a shame, because the model and 4K texture is quite beautiful. It uses vanilla animations, though. On the balancing front, it's superior to the regular double barrel in every way, which kind of makes it feel like the unique double barrel shotgun we never got in vanilla. There's not that many attachments, only 9 receivers, 2 stocks, a muzzle brake, and suppressor. Some interesting ammo types, including healing ammo that restores health to your allies, which is kind of useless since they're usually invincible, and zoom options. The birdshot ammo type is particularly interesting because when combined with a light receiver, it makes the weapon do so little damage that the damage number wraps around to the maximum possible value. That's over 65,000 damage, about 4,000 per pellet. That's certainly enough to kill anything in the game in one shot. As amusing as it is to examine this broken mess of a weapon, in the end I have to say the only thing I like about it is its engraving. Third, we've got the VG double barrel. VG stands for Vanguard, as in Call of Duty Vanguard. That's right, this is a Call of Duty port, but don't worry, it's one of the better ones out there. You can craft the VG double barrel at a chem lab, and if you download the optional leveled list patch, it's injected into leveled lists and can be found on raiders, minutemen, and at vendors, starting from level 10. Sledgehammer Games did a great job on this shotgun's model and textures, but sadly their animations didn't get ported over. The mod author recommends you use the Battlefield 1 double barrel animations, and I would concur, they make this weapon significantly more fun to use. For attachments, there's some damn good variety. We get a whopping 9 receivers, 8 different sight options, 2 of which have see-through scopes variants, but thankfully see-through scopes isn't required, 5 barrels, 5 stocks, 4 muzzle devices, damage cheats, and 4 ammo types, including some ridiculously overpowered Dragon's Breath rounds. The damage shown in the Pit Boy must be per shot damage or something, because with Dragon's Breath ammo, you can clear out a room easily. It doesn't help that there's no fire resistance in the vanilla game, so anything that does fire damage is going to be really powerful and unavoidable. If you can restrict yourself from using Dragon's Breath rounds, the weapon isn't that OP. I think with certain attachments, it might be a little too accurate for a shotgun, especially in VATS, but some users might appreciate the realism. All in all, I can't deny this is a fun, well-made weapon. I'd like it more if someone did a balancing pass on it, but it's not bad as it is. Fourth, we've got a classic lore-friendly weapon from Fallout New Vegas, the Caravan Shotgun. You can find one in the world at Deb's stall at Bunker Hill, and it's injected into the leveled list for the vanilla double barrel, meaning it can potentially spawn in place of the double barrel all over the Commonwealth. The model and texture work is beautiful, and it has custom animations in both first and third person. Flicking this shoddy open and closed looks fucking badass. Unfortunately, like usual, power armor goes and ruins things. In third-person power armor, the weapon uses hunting rifle animations, which results in some hilarity. The weapon is still fully functional, but I would have preferred to see double barrel animations instead, with no floating parts, ideally. The number of modifications is a bit on the low side, only 9 receivers, 6 barrels, 3 stocks, 1 option for nail sights, and man are these tough to aim with, and 3 texture swaps. This dearth of upgrades makes the Caravan Shotgun only useful in the early game. The lack of any reflex sight or short scope is particularly annoying. This is definitely not a weapon to use beyond close range, even with the longer barrels and full stocks, because nothing can overcome its short range and widespread. Arguably, a weapon being a little underpowered is better than it being overpowered, so I can't complain too much. If you can find a Wounding Legendary variant, this will melt enemies like any other shotgun, so it's not like it's useless. Many users have reported animation problems with this weapon, in particular when loaded alongside see-through scopes or tactical reload. If you want to use those mods, this gun might not be for you, but if you have a less crowded load order, you should give it a shot. Fifth, we've got the Doom 3 Super Shotgun. It's not the actual model from Doom 3, thankfully. That would look like complete crap. This reimagined model doesn't look too bad, and it's got some nice 4K textures. 
Anyways, this gun has no pre-placed spawns or leveled list integration. You have to craft it at a chem lab. It uses vanilla animations, and it seems like the firing sound is the vanilla double barrel with the audio boosted like crazy. You can't use Battlefield 1 animations with this gun. It has misaligned sights, and the shells don't get pushed into the chambers properly. The double barrel reload redone animations, on the other hand, work wonderfully. For attachments, this gun has 9 receivers, 3 barrels, 2 stocks, glow sights and a reflex sight, 2 muzzle brakes, and some damage cheats. Besides the damage cheats, it's exactly the same selection the vanilla double barrel shotgun has. By every metric, this super shotgun outclasses the vanilla double barrel, but not by so much that it becomes ridiculously overpowered. And since you can only craft it at a chem lab, you'll never get any legendary effects unless you add them with console commands, so there's no need to worry about balance. Overall, I can say this is a functional mod, but it fails to impress me in any way. It also suffers from not only being lore unfriendly, obviously, but it doesn't fit into the popular tactical modern warfare niche either. Unless you're putting together a Doom-themed load order, I don't see any reason to use this gun. Sixth, and finally, we have the Pipe Shotgun Collection. This mod is from early 2016, so while it's not particularly amazing by today's standards, when judged against its contemporaries, it holds up excellently. I can't really comment on how realistic this weapon and its attachments are, but I can say it fits in perfectly with the vanilla pipe weapons. We already have a pipe rifle, pipe bolt action, and pipe revolver, and this mod gives us the missing pipe shotgun, made entirely out of the same parts as other pipe weapons. There's no pre-placed spawns or unique variants of this pipe shotgun, but it is added to the double barrel shotguns leveled list, which means it can be found wherever the regular double barrel can be. Due to this mod's age, the edits were made directly, not via scripted injection, which could pose minor compatibility problems. This shotgun is highly modifiable. The double barrel configuration is just one of many possibilities. There's 9 receivers, 3 barrel lengths, 4 stocks, 7 configurations that completely change how the weapon works. All the scopes pipe weapons can take in the vanilla game, 3 bayonets, 3 muzzle devices, and 4 chokes. In all of its configurations, the weapon uses animations from other vanilla weapons, but they honestly don't look that bad. I'm quite surprised by how decent double barrel animations look even on a quad barrel shotgun. If you're looking for slightly better animations, you can use the double barrel reload animation redone mod. Unfortunately, like the Doom 3 Super Shotgun mod, if you try using the Battlefield 1 animation pack, the sights will be insanely misaligned. From a balancing perspective, this mod is well done. It actually makes you consider using a single barrel shotgun to get a faster reload time, greater accuracy, and lighter weight. The more barrels you add, the longer the reload time gets, and the heavier the weapon becomes. Objectively, the semi-automatic configuration is the best, but you'll have to wait for Gun Nut Rank 4 to get it, or get lucky with a drop from an enemy. In the late game, you'll be much better off using the combat shotgun anyways. When you consider that this is a NIF-bashed weapon mod from early 2016, it's a masterpiece by those standards. It would be perfect for a vanilla plus load order because it fits into the regular game seamlessly. If you only use weapon mods that are ultra high quality and have custom animations, this will fall beneath your standards. But if you can look past appearances, you'll find this one to be a real gem. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this short little video. There's more coming soon. I want to end this one quick, so... Toodles!